Okay guys, we're here to do a little bit of electro fishing now. So how do we do it? Well, basically it's just a boat that shocks the fish. We'll swing these booms out and, and, and it runs a current into the water and it, it'll stun the fish in its simplest form. That's basically all there is to it. Does it hurt the fish? Uh, it stuns them temporarily and, and, and you catch them and bring them on board and then they, they revive and they're just fine. So, Okay, so we'll put the booms out now. Let me just swing those around nice and neat and lock them into place. And these are the safety pedals here. You put your foot on it and, and you know that allows the current to flow through and into the water. And then take your foot off and, and that shuts off the current and you're, you're good to go. And that's a, a safety measure so that everybody's, you know, remains safe in this operation. So. Got your sign? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> yes. I'm not seeing anything. I saw one. You saw something? Yeah, I did. Well, why didn't you catch it? Because it was too far gone. Oh, I got one. Ah! <laughs> nice job, Clark. Whew. What type of fish is this? Uh, this is a buffalo. It's one of the native fish here that uh, um, in the Illinois River. So it's really good to find this fish of this species. It's really good to find this fish. We're going to put him back. Cool. Wait, here's one. Here's one. Oh, oh Clark got another one. I think it's a buffalo. Another buffalo. Oh, there's one over here. Same one. That's not. There we go. Probably 30. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, one thing you can do is you can step off the pedal to let go of the juice, and then and we'll go a little further, and then stand back down on the pedal and put the juice to them and see if that gets them to come up a little bit better. Ah! Oh, I got one. <laughs> you got it. I got one. <laughs> what kind of fish is this? This is a small silver carp. Ooh. Nice and silver. Feel down the middle like that. Mm -hmm. Eye low on the head. That's probably a one or two year old fish, real small one. They get up to 30 pounds. This one's probably pound and a half, two pounds. Okay, guys, I got a spot here that I think is going to be a hot spot. So let's give it a try. What do you oh, say? I'm excited. I hope we see a lot of them. I know, me too. Sometimes little spots like this can be just loaded with fish. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. I hope it is. Okay, firing up the generator again. Okay, whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and stand on the pedal. Oh, oh there's one. There's a big one. Uh, there's another one. Get it. Oh, oh I caught it. I big. caught it. Ah, I can't get my net out. Oh. <laughs> Back on your pedal. Back on your pedal. We both got one. Both got one. Double. You got a double. Both of you have silver carp again. The keel, oh. the keel is the dead giveaway. The sharp keel on the bottom oh, of the yeah. fish there. So we caught a lot of fish today. What does this mean to the river ecosystem? Well, we've caught a lot of fish, but you can see you can see most of them were the Asian carp. It means that things have drastically changed as the evasion has come on. And these fish have come in and displaced the native fish, and they're, the native fish are fewer and the Asian carp are more. So it means we've got a real problem.